Hello everyone. So I mounted all of my pictures. All right, meaning they all have a white border, whether that be from the picture or, see this one is from the printed picture. And then when I cropped it down, I took a piece of cardstock and I mounted it to white and then onto the black. All right, so I mounted them all. And on some of the pictures, I put little stickers and embellishments on there. So here I put a season's greeting. Um, here I did just a little sticker there. And that journaling spot goes back there. So I just want to show you how much I stuffed this album with pictures. All right. So um, here on the inside, this envelope, as you can see, this is the way the pictures are just tossed in there, which is fantastic because you can pull them out and enjoy them, right? Enjoy the pictures. And I have to put pattern paper on the back of that. I still have extra pattern paper. So why not use my scraps to, to take care of that? I got pattern paper and I have some, this one last journaling card, which will be perfect for this. So let me just take care of that right now. I mean, why, why not use as much as you possibly can to, um, to make your album gorgeous? All right, so even if you used it already, even if it's the same one that you used on another picture, who cares? Just use it and toss it in there so you don't have any blank spaces. So I have pictures on the front. Most of them have pictures on the front and the back. And some, very few, have journaling spots or, excuse me, cards because I wanted to use as many pictures as I could here. I have 100 plus photos in here, guys. All right. That's including the small ones and the large ones. And these are the small ones here. I didn't even get to put any in my, in my envelopes here because I just, I used them all up in the spaces. So this is how this page here works. Remember this was that undercut page. So you get to put two pictures on the front and in the back. And here I put two and one, I put a total of three photos here. So remember it looks like that, but when you put the pictures in it or whatever it is that you wanna put in there, um, you will be able to see this. So you get one in the front or one in the back and one in the front. You can do two and two. It all depends how much you want to stuff your picture. I don't want to stuff mine too much, so I'm just going to toss this one in here. All right, there's like absolutely no need to do that. And so that's that page. And here, enjoying the pretty paper. So I wanted to show you, I grabbed a few sticker sheets that I just had kind of laying around there, my Christmas stuff. All right, I don't necessarily, for holiday stuff, I don't necessarily keep manufacturers together unless it's a complete collection. If it's stuff that I've used already, I just put them all together and I can use them as, as I want to. All right, guys, so you can decorate. This is what's neat about when you have pictures already. You can decorate right on top of the picture. You can put a little sentiment up there. You can put... Um, like for instance, you could put this joy to the world right up here if you want to right there and how, I mean, that's it. How neat does that look? Um, here we have all this available space. You can do something else. You can do a little jolly one. You can do the happy holidays banner. I mean, you name it, you can do so many of these. You can do this, these here, these are cute. Look at that. And then you cut it out and you have a really nice um, embellishment on your picture. And I love stickers for this, guys. And I've showed in many of my other classes how to use stickers without having to stick them down to the picture. You know, so you can still, um, wrong one, so you can still do your pictures without having to. Um, you know, stick it down all the way. And I've done that in several of my other videos. Here, side pocket, there is my ace, and I put embellishment right on the picture. And then I cover that, the back of that with pattern paper. Here, for me and my mom, I put a sticker up there. 
Um, you can do all sorts of things, guys. Here's this 25 that I'm totally going to just stick down there. And it'll be sweet. And again, these are random embellishments that I have, guys. And my knife. And the stickers are kind of cool because you can cover up the, the unwanted clutter that may be in the background of the picture. All right, look at how cute is that. Here I did Hello Santa. Here I can do something else. I'm loving that. Super cute. Here I did the 25th. Here I did nothing. Here's my son opening up his gifts. So I can do... Let's see, I don't want to cover him up too much. Oh, this is cute. This one that has my Christmas wish right up here. Get a little speech bubble. There's my nephew. Can get this really cute sticker right here. And it just looks really, really cute. So my point is, you don't have to everything doesn't have to be a huge production so it can look nice all right you can look nice by just being really keeping it really simple and i love this this happy holiday here for my dogs but i just have to trim this just a little bit And now I can use it for my little doggies. Happy holidays from my doggies. And again, see here I did the little Christmas lights. I did a Merry Christmas. Here I added the presents and the special delivery. And again, you get the idea. This is my sister's husband and my son. It's my sister and her husband. And they're my sister and her two girls. See how pretty that is? And you put those in there. And there you go. Here's, there's a pocket card there. This one has paper behind it. And when you take it out, you have all sorts of cuteness there. Like up here, you can add, I know Santa right here on this flag here. When you take it out, it says Santa Claus on there. Um, here you can put one of these nice Merry Christmas to all images. And you can mat that if you want with a couple of other things. You can add a whole collage, which I didn't think about it. Hold on, guys. Take that off. You can add a whole collage of things on there if you want to. I'm not loving that all the way, just too plain. I don't want to ruin it, I just like the paper. But you guys get the idea, you can totally make a really nice, here is this border countdown strip here, that I would just do here and here. Well, those numbers would be upside down, won't, won't they? Mm. No, nope, it's not going to work there the way I wanted it to work there. I'm leaving it alone. Here I got Santa's helper and then Christmas memories. And then here, I can put another little tree by my Robbie. I mean, really just cute, super duper cute. I love this here for my girls. And this big heart over here. And then happy holidays. Why not, right? Layer a couple of these. And that's it. Just very little decorating. You don't have to go crazy I like this Noel for here but I think it's gonna come off just a little bit 
Oh, it works. Look at that. So just make it really cute, guys. And that's it. Just got some more pictures. More pictures, more pictures, more pictures here. Oh, I forgot a picture there. Look, I didn't even put anything in there. Look at how cute. Love it. Oh, I have another spot for a picture there. Just so many places for pictures, guys. And I didn't even put anything in here. I have a few more pictures that I can throw in here. And so I'm pretty, I'm done with this album, guys. What I want to tell you is I personally, here, this is personally too stuff for me. I'm going to take, take some pictures out of here. But I personally love to have boxes with my mini albums. All right. I like the whole total package. So when I put it away, I can just put it away. So for those of you who picked up, who bought my boxable workshop, it's a year long workshop guys. Um, and you get 12 different boxes. Let me show you my first box, All right? So here's the boxable icon. It's a workshop. It's a 12 month workshop. You get written tutorials and videos. All right. So let me show you the first box. So what does that have to do with this album? I'll tell you in a minute. So here's the first boxable box. All right, so you get 12 unique designs of these, of box, of 12 different boxes. You know, you can put embellishment in there if you want to, or you don't. So it opens up like this, and there you see the album, okay? Here's a side profile of it. All right, it's just really, really beautiful. So what I'm, what I'm going to do for those of you who took my boxable, um, who picked up my boxable workshop in the, uh, my camera's all crooked. Sorry guys. In the boxable workshop, I'm going to resize this box because what's super cool about this project is that you're going to get a resizing sheet for every single box that, you, that I make. And I have one somewhere around here. This is what it looks like. All right, you're gonna get a resizing sheet that will teach you how to make this box and all 12 of them for any mini album you have. Whether it be mine, a design of your own, it doesn't matter. You will be able to resize it so that you can use these, these box designs for any mini album you have. So what I'm saying is when, if you purchase my boxable workshop, I'm going to go in there and resize this box, for, resize this box so that I can make it again for this mini album. So then I have my whole, you know, my, my mini album, my box and everything, and I could just store it and be done with it. All right. So like, I'm going to have a box for it. I'm going to take out some of these pictures because I have way too many and I could just throw them in the box and my, my book will be nice and regular. All right, guys. So if you bought my box of a workshop, look out for the videos that are going to come up for resizing this box, just so I could show you, give you an example of how to use a resize sheet. It's easier to show you as opposed to just walk you through it and explain it. So we'll resize the first boxable box to work back with this album right here. So that's going to be a little bonus for you all. Um, I hope you all enjoy the Matting 101, guys. Um, I really enjoy doing these videos with you guys. Um, the albums turned out fabulous and the bonus with the pictures. And if you're interested in Boxable, guys, this is what the icon looks like in my shop. I will most certainly link you down below to the purchase page for Boxable and for the um, Picture Perfect mini album. So have fun making these. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them right down below in the comments. This is Kathy with Paper Phenomenon, and until next time.